Hello, Air Signs. This is Dee, and I hope you all are doing well. Thank you for joining me here on my channel. For my current subscribers, thank you for your continuous support. It is truly appreciated. For my new subscribers, welcome. It is a pleasure to have you join us here. And if you are browsing YouTube and you've come across my channel, it is not by coincidence. This is a divine connection. So go ahead and press that subscribe button. All right, awesome. Okay, air signs. We're going to see what message comes forward at this time during the full moon in Aquarius. Full moons are time to reflect and reevaluate and to release what no longer serves us any good. So I'm going to see what message comes forward that you may want to consider releasing. And so um, this message may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. If you don't practice rituals, of course, you're welcome to hang out with us and see what message comes forward. But if it doesn't interest your peak, peak your interest, excuse me, or resonate with you, of course, you can um, sign off at any time that you choose. And so this energy will be at its um, strongest points from August 22nd through August the 24th. All right, air signs. I'm going to give the cards one final shuffle and we'll see what message comes forward for you. God, most high angels, ancestors, spirit guides, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit. What is the message for the air signs? Okay. That is for their greatest and highest good during this full moon in Aquarius. So we have Unikite and the message is live in the now. So I feel like you're being encouraged to release anything that's holding you back from really experiencing the present moment. Any concerns or worries about the future that may be interfering and affecting your ability to flow at this time by just being in the present moment, I feel like you're being encouraged to release those energies because they're interfering with your flow. And so we all know that um, there is no promise for tomorrow. So we're always encouraged to embrace the now and feel the moment, experience the moment, and again, be in this present time. So I'm going to see what your extended message is for the for Unikite. And it's such a beautiful crystal. All right, so the message for you is this. There's no time like the present. The past is done and the future hasn't happened yet. So ground yourself in the here and now. With our busy lives and busy minds, this can be hard to do. But being mindful and in the moment allows you to make the most most out of every aspect of your life. Allow yourself the opportunity to really connect with those around you and fully invest yourself in everything you do. Try to avoid distractions or letting your mind wander, especially about matters you have no control over. Immerse yourself in each experience. Put your heart and soul into every action and bring a sense of gratitude to where you are in your life. Here and now is where you will find true contentment. And your core questions are these. Where is your mind right now? Wishing you could change the past, worrying about the future, or being in the present? What are your most great what are you most excuse me grateful for right now? 
your affirmation is this. So you are being encouraged to affirm, I live in the now. And your action is write down three things that you're grateful for in this present moment. So that will bring your awareness to focus on the here and now and not worry about the past, which cannot be changed. You can certainly take away from the past experience that you've gained wisdom and knowledge that you have also obtained from what has occurred. But it is in the past and there's no way that the past can be changed. You can just only accept what has happened that's caused you to learn from the experience, which you can use to empower yourself and or someone else. So your message is encouraging you to live in the now. And in order to do that, you really need to um, focus on releasing the need to prepare for the future, investing all your time and energy on the future. Is it important to prepare? Absolutely. However, preparing extremely far in the future at this current time is what you're being encouraged not to do. Because as I uh, mentioned early on, tomorrow's not promise. That's why you're being encouraged to go full throttle, <laughs> if I may, with being in the now, appreciating every experience, every encounter that you have now. And allow that moment or those moments to just, you know, to sit with you so that you can appreciate them. And your, um, your action, again, I want to repeat that for you, is to write down three things that you are grateful for in this present moment. And for me, the number three represents the Holy Trinity the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I feel like that's a divine number. So I feel like with uh, that being said, that it is important for you to spend your time investing in and focusing on the here and now. Yes, planning for the future is key, but you're being encouraged to not let it be the driving force that causes you to miss the here and now, the experiences, the opportunities that are in the here and now. So I wanna to read to you again, your affirmation to affirm, which is, I live in the now. Allow that to really, really, excuse me, to really settle down in your heart and soul and embrace it. And if you feel the need to repeat that, I recommend that you repeat it three times. Just say that I live in the here and now three times to help it to really uh, take root in your heart so that you can move forward knowing that you are embracing these moments, these experiences um, and not allowing them to pass you by, by giving so much attention to what's coming in the future as you plan. Again, it is important to plan for the future, but in doing so, it's also very important to not allow it consume you to the point where you are missing out on this present time, the here and now. Be in the moment. Experience the moment. Don't let it get away from you. So again, 
you're being asked to release anything that is standing in your way from experiencing the here and now. Now, air signs. That's Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I hope this has been helpful. Until the next time, take good care and I will talk to you soon. See you in the next video. Bye.